Today I'm going to be talking about these cheap Chinese moving lights. They have gobos. I see them on Amazon and eBay. Uh, it has like seven gobos or something inside of it. Popular names for it, Lixada or Yuking. They're the ones that typically drop ship these from China. You can find them on cheap for cheap on Ali, or, uh, Alibaba for, I don't know, 40 to $60. I think it's like 30 watts or something it claims. I don't know how accurate that is. Uh, these have been sitting in my garage four years, 2019. It's 2023 now. Um, this one you can see is even worse. <laughs> Look at the dust on it. It has three pin DMX in and out and uh, IEC in. Apparently there's a fuse and then a little fan. One thing about these lights, I'll get to it right now. I'll show you is they this is this is one of my fears it's on the stage someone kicks it right oh shoot it doesn't go back like it like it doesn't it can't tell that someone kicked it and i don't know if there's a reset channel that you can send over dmx or not because you may be using this in your church that's what i'm doing dmx i don't really care about the other stuff but there it is powering up it's pretty fast and the screen stays on all the time it doesn't turn off it always says the channel number so let's plug it in i have my iac here and i have three pin dmx make sure it's dmx not i um not xlr not like a standard audio cable we want to be dmx we don't want to pick up interference from all the power adapters i would say on these that you want to have uh, a home run off of like your opto splitter or something uh, just because they're really cheap <laughs> and I've, I've in the past when I've used them they they tend to freak out sometimes and uh, send data back to other lights and you don't really want that happening and Vista I just patched it in all I did was look for uh, licks and it came up looks out of mini LED spot uh, here's the channels I don't know, I have it in 9 channel mode, I guess. So it's 50 feet away. You can see the projecting on the ceiling. And our back wall. Pretty bright. And you can see my shadow. Um, they're pretty uh, fast. So if I can, I can like, beam them around and stuff here. Let me pan them all the way to nowhere. And then I'll fold them. But look at that. Bam, pretty fast. Uh, I don't know if they're lining up correctly. No, they're not that bad. Sometimes you'll get like when you move lights really fast, they uh, they shoot off into nowhere and like on a line. <laughs> uh, but these aren't that bad. They're, so you can uh, change the wheel, the color. Uh, you don't really have. It's not like RGB. So this is orange, blue, yellow. Green, rose, white, red, light blue. Okay, so right now you can see the gobo wheel is open. And here's my beam. It's again 50 feet away. Um, and you can see this is just standard open. So our hazer is pretty powerful here. But you can see here's our, our tight beam. You can kind of see it as you walk. It's kind of like, whoa. So in, one, one thing in Vista 2, I don't know if they fixed it in Vista 3. Um, there are no, like, gobo, like, inserts, I don't know, images uh, on the wheel here. So we're just open right now. I'm going to go, next one is Flower 2. It's Flower 2. Warp. One's not stone swirl germ, and then it's a spot, but it's just open. Uh, I noticed that it like flies all the way around the wheel to get to some of them, which is really weird. Like these two that I'm going back and forth here right now are right next to each other like stone swirl and yet it just flies through there 
That's weird. So I'm wondering if it's laid out wrong on here. Okay, so here we are. See, it's flipping through the wheel here. With the beam of haze. I'm not fully sure how to do special effects on these. But that's a lighting control software issue. No. <laughs> that's, that's my fault, not the light's fault. But here it is. It's pretty bright. I don't know if you can see it. It's not. It's brighter in person. But yeah, here it is. You can see it's cycling through and it's going through like the shake ones. Let's see, it's out of focus. Here, let's try to focus it together. So all you do, this whole head here um, spins in and out. And see as I unscrew, it's making it worse. So I'm gonna screw it in. And see, and now it's in focus. All I did was screw the whole head, this whole piece that moves. It just, you know, see, this is the problem. You hit it and it doesn't go back to where it belongs. Now, these are moving pretty fast, I feel like, for our space, like they're just zipping back and forth. And what happens is, as you slow them down, they stutter. Let's see if I speed it up a little. See what I mean. Do you see how it's like, it's not smooth? Uh, which is the downside of these lights, but. Overall, I guess if you're in a big church or something, a big room, and they have more like, like if I allow it to go farther, you don't really notice it. I gotta say right now with this haze, like as it evens out in the room, it looks really good with these beams. Um, but as you go up and down and stuff, it just helps. So let me uh, change the gobo to a different one and you can see really see the beams now you can see it's, they're changing color now so if you're like a DJ and you're wondering how these will look at your like party or wedding or something do something like this I gotta admit they're not as bright as some of the other fixtures we have here um, but that's I mean they're plenty bright for our room here this is not a big room I don't I don't like blinding people like right here in this row I'm being blinded it looks cool <laughs> Like I'm in the middle of the light, <laughs> like, I, like right there, like you can see what I'm seeing on camera now. Like I'm in the light, like, yeah, I wouldn't last, like rely on these lights to last forever. Some of like your other fixtures, but they're pretty cheap, pretty replaceable. I think I bought these for like $80 or something on Amazon in 2019. And here they are, they're still working, <laughs> surprisingly. All right, so I have the listing pulled up here on my phone. As you can see right here, it says 1 times 10 watt. Down here it says 25 watts. All right, so then here it says 30 watts. So I'm getting 25, 30, 10. Here's a typical like light set that I would probably do. Um, this is for one thing remains during you know, one of the courses. So you can see the intensity compared to the other ones. Not that bad, a little faint. Um, but you can definitely see the beams and how cool they look. Um, I believe I have, yeah, I believe I changed, yeah, in this song, um, I have them kind of flying around here. You can see they're kind of, when they get towards the end, they do the stutter. See it there? Yeah. Stutter, stutter, stutter. <laughs> um, it's not terrible, but... It's not that great. So, let's see the stuttering again. 